Hey everybody, it's Obtuse Lawcat, and I hope you viewers are thirsting for the blood of the innocent, because I am in the mood to kill. Yeah, basically this bonus episode type thing that I'm doing here, uh, I'm going to be going around and killing some of the NPCs in the game. Not all of them, not all of them by far, because, uh, well, some of them... Basically the reason I'm killing the ones that I am killing is because they either have an interesting combat style or they have drops that I would be interested in obtaining. And some of the NPCs, well, they're just boring and they don't have that great drops. Or maybe, like Laurentius of the Great Swamp, he's just way too much of a bro for me to actually kill him. I freaking love Laurentius, man. I could never hurt him. <laughs> But I am going to be killing some of the nicer NPCs as well, just because they have drops, but whatever. Uh, it's... yeah, whatever. Basically, the reason you can do this in Dark Souls is because when you beat the game, you go into New Game Plus and all the NPCs get brought back anyways. So that's why you, I am doing this. And uh, you may have noticed I'm no longer wearing the dragon head that I was wearing in the last episode, I went back to my Crown of Dusk. In order to get rid of the Dragon Head, you have to actually die. So I went ahead and I offed myself in the most normal way that I knew, jumping down a well. <laughs> and then the next thing that I did, just so I could show a little extra dialogue before um, killing her, <laughs> is I went and I traded my uh, Sunlight Maggot to Snuggly the Crow for the old witch's ring, which allows you to talk to Quaylon, uh, Quaylag's sister, the, the sick one that's near me right now. Now, I didn't really go over Snuggly um, in normal gameplay, but basically, if you head back to the Undead Asylum on a return visit, uh, you find a little nest on the way up to uh, where you left from the first time, and Snuggly asks you for shiny things and warm things, I believe it is. And the Sunlight Maggot is shiny, so she wants that. Um, basically, what the way it works is you drop the item in her nest, you quit out from the game, and then you come back, and the item that she will trade to you for that item will be waiting in the nest. And so the Sunlight Maggot trades for the old witch's ring. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and put on the old witch's ring. Wherever it is. Uh, there it is. And also this. This shiny over here, this is the, uh, the, the, the thorn set, the thorn armor set. Uh, the one that you get for doing Kirk's Invasion three times. Uh, I forgot to pick that up earlier, that's where you get it. Uh, a cool thing that you can do with that set is just, uh, it, it, if you remember, it gives you the effect of doing damage when you roll. And in order to get that effect, you only need to wear one piece. So, what I can do... What I like to do is I like to wear like just the gauntlets or just the legs or something because that gives your rolls damage uh, without actually wearing that much of the set. However, if you do wear more of the set, your damage will be intensified, but uh, you still get the damage if you're only wearing one piece. So now that we can actually talk to her... Quaylag. Yeah, this is kind of really sad. Basically what happened is, she's so sick from sucking the poison out of Angie over there, her eternal guardian, that she thinks that we're Quaylag. She thinks that us, the player, is a huge spider monster with a woman's torso on top of it. I can see how she'd mistake that. Um, but yeah, that's really sad, because Quaylag's dead, and we killed her! If that doesn't make you feel bad, then I don't know what, what will seeing Quaylag's poor disabled sister after you have killed Quaylag. So yeah. Quaylag, See what she has to say. Oh god. Oh god. That's just awful. I am an awful person. Wow. Uh, yeah, you know what? I was planning on killing her because she gives you a Firekeeper soul for killing her, but I don't think I'm gonna kill her. Jeez, that is... yeah. You... you speak the tongue of the fair lady? No, it's just a ring. Well, do not be rash with your pride. 
You have yet to earn my trust. If you oh, yeah, what he wants. With the fair lady, there will be hell to pay. Oh, don't worry. I decided not to hurt her. Uh, what he wants is for you to get infected with the egghead status, which is like what's he, what he's infected with. And uh, the way to do that, you head over to the demon ruins uh, that way. Oh, I got rid of point forward. Th that way. And uh, basically, uh, either go up to the egg carriers and let them do their grab attack on you, or uh, kill the egg carriers, let the little maggots come out of them, and then let the maggots shoot their red mist on you. Which sounds... yeah, it's... it's yeah. Yeah, that, those, those are the two ways to get infected. Um, you, when you're infected, you'll notice because your character will start scratching their head, and then eventually your head will turn into a giant mass of eggs, and uh, you won't be able to wear any headgear. But there's that. Uh, next place I'm going to head to, since I decided not to kill Quaylon because I actually have a heart, is I'm going to head to the Darkman Tomb. Alright, I went ahead and cut to uh, when I'm on the rotating platform deal here. Uh, basically, I am going for the Lady of the Darkling. She is the firekeeper that was keeping that first fire, uh, the very first fire in Anorlando. And uh, once you make Anorlando go dark, she gets angry because she's a follower of Gwendolyn or whatever. And so she comes out here waiting for you to kill you. Now, a lot of these fights I could make boring by using magic and just like one-shotting them and stuff, but I decided I'm probably just going to melee most of the, the people that I fight today, just for interestingness. Or I could just backstab and almost kill them anyways. That works too. But how? Yeah. This man is a threat. Master Gwendolyn. I don't know why you're trying to talk to Master Gwendolyn. I killed him two episodes ago. But yeah, from her we get a Firekeeper Soul. That's also what we would have gotten from Quaylon had we been uh, lacking a heart enough to actually kill her while she's disabled and thinks that we're her sister. Jeez. Yeah, that's uh, uh it's worse than Sif, actually. <laughs> you guys remember how much, how much Sif made me sad. That's that is worse than Sif. <laughs> Oh my god, this game. This game. Uh, but the next thing we're going to do, uh, as you might be able to guess from my trajectory, is we're going to kill the giant blacksmith. A giant blacksmith is a cool guy, but he's not, like, disabled, and we haven't killed one of his close relatives, so I don't really mind killing him that much. Oh, but first he wants our shiny shiny. What he means is the crystal ember. <laughs> I hath shiny shiny. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything... Yeah, I don't think there's anything I'm too worried about uh, obtaining from this guy before I take him out. So. Giant Blacksmith. Have at you! Oi, stop that! Yeah. He does a stompy attack. Like, ow! Like his, uh giant friends that we've encountered in Sen's Fortress, but like them, he falls over once he's done with that. Oh man, look at that blood. That's vicious. Did you guys see that? There's like a spout of blood coming from his head. Jeez. But for him, you get the blacksmith giant hammer. Yeah, that wood thing that he likes to pound away with in really complex melodies. Or not melodies, damn it. Really complex rhythms. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, but yeah, there's that. The, it's uh, part of the move set that like the uh, normal axes and like the hand axe and the morning star, the clubs, this move set, the hammer move set type. It's honestly it's crap. It's like complete crap. It's pretty much no matter what you do, it's the same attack. Like look at that. That is the the move set. That's the combo. Nothing special. Just the same thing over and over. Attack from the right side. Attack from the right side. Attack from the right side. And oftentimes the power attacks, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. So, yeah. There's that. His does lightning damage. Uh, kind of a reference to the fact that he upgrades things to lightning. But overall, it's not that great of a weapon. You, I have been killed by it before, actually. And so obviously it can be used semi-effectively. Um, I don't know how well I was playing at the time when I lost to it, but whatever. 
Um, so yeah, there's that giant smut blacksmith, unfortunately, is no more. Next up on the execution block, Oswald of Kareem. Um, he's not, he doesn't really have that much, uh, that any good drops or anything, and he doesn't have an interesting fighting style. Well, maybe, I don't know, that's up to you. But he's kind of a pretentious asshole, so I figured I would kill him anyways, just for, you know, personal pleasure. Thou shalt regret this. Surely you jest. Yeah, what do you drop? Twin Humanities, two of them. And the Book of the Guilty, in case you didn't pick it up for yourself. So, yeah. Alright, next up is Patches. Uh, pretty much the same thing as Oswald. He's not interesting, he doesn't have good drops. But he is an asshole, so I will get pleasure out of killing him. He gets to taste the cold blade of my Uchigatana. Well... That's what it has to be. This is what it has to be. Ow. Uh, maybe I shouldn't try parrying him. Let's get the backstab. Heal. What is that, a partisan? Partisan and an eagle shield. What a turtle. Man, he even fights like an asshole. There we go. How in the what did I do? What did I do? What did you do? What didn't you do? God, what a guy. Oh, and I guess you get the Crescent Axe for free for doing that. Alright, cool. I guess I'll show this guy as well. Um, he's actually a cool guy, but he doesn't really do anything besides sit here. Um, I know the first time I played through the game, he like he went hollow, and I ran into him down in New Londo. But none of the other times I've played through the game has he gone hollow. I, I don't know. I don't know. But in any case, I am going to kill him. Lousy rat! Lousy rat! I may be crestfallen, but I'm not defenseless, you rascal. Yeah, you've got a shield. But how good are you with your sword? Will you please do something besides slowly backing away? There. There we go. There's a good parry. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was saying. Oh. Uh, okay. That's kind of weird. <laughs> Moving on. Don't worry, viewers, I wouldn't even dream of hurting her. I killed Petrus for a reason, you know. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do, these guys aren't friendly NPCs anyways, but I'm just going to take out the, uh, the Forest Hunters, because I realize, although I've been through here several times, I've never actually killed the Forest Hunters themselves. So I'm going to do that. Right away, uh, this guy with a Claymore and uh, the Sorcerer come at you. Backstab! <laughs> I feel kind of dirty with how many backstabs I've been doing. Ow! What? What? Speaking of dirty... Oh, God. My self-esteem. It's completely gone. Alright, there's my retrieval. This time, I'm going to head in with this at the ready. <laughs> Instead of going for, like, purist melee style or whatever the heck I was doing before. There, have that. You're done for. You are done for. Lame little sorcerer friend over here. Who the heck plays as a sorcerer? Seriously. Sorcerers suck, man. Don't you know that? Hey. Hey, who did that? Hey. Get over here, invisible person. Oh, <laughs> jousted by your own petard. I don't know why I said that. Um, hello there. They basically have a representative element from pretty much all of the possible playstyles in this. They have the, 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 the knight guy with the claymore, the, the thief guy with the bandit's knife, the sorcerer, of course, the cleric, that guy I just laid on the ground. And I think this guy over here is the bandit. Hello, bandit. How are you? Would you like a backstab? 
Oh, you would like a backstab. Well, there you go. How about a power attack? There you go. Alright, and now there's another one. You guys remember Ferris? Or maybe you don't. I don't know if I've even talked about Ferris in this playthrough, but Ferris is a great archer. And uh, he slash she is somewhere in here. <laughs> oh, there's another meleeer. Wait, what? Didn't I? Are there two of this guy? Like, this exact same guy? Because I swear, this is the exact same guy that I killed before. I've never actually thought about it before, but is that the exact... I don't know. I don't know. Well, where's Ferris? Ferris is a fantastic longbow user, but more importantly, he slash she has a fantastic sense of style. And uh, really knows... Oh, there you are, right in front of me. Jeez. He really knows what people like to see in a hat. Now, um, this one that you're seeing right here, this is a female character. Uh, that's the, the hat actually changes styles depending on the... Uh, on the the gender of the person wearing it. Uh, I don't know, some kind of sorcery, but... Uh, what are you doing? Are you, like, BS fishing me? Come on, Ferris. Um, so if I wear it, the male version looks a lot cooler, basically is what I'm trying to get, get across here. Would you... Ugh, come on. Um, I don't know if you saw, but when I first came up to her... Yeah, 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 take that. Yeah, there you go. That's what, it, yeah, yeah. If you're in the drop, you get Black Bow, Ferris's hat, and Twin Humanities. I'll show you what it looks like because it's pretty cool. It's like it's like a Stetson, except more Asian. I don't know. I don't know. In any case, if it kind of looks like a Stetson, then it's kind of awesome because Stetsons are cool. Um, but I'm gonna stick with my Crown of Dusk. So that's cool. You get you also get the Black Bow from her. Ow! 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 Get out of there! Ah, gotta be careful not paying attention in the forest. There you go. Oh, you're not dead? Dang. Alright. But that that's all the forest people. Um, Ferris is theorized that he, obviously he was originally male. Um, I think that's from like item descriptions and stuff. But uh, maybe like his apprentice was female or something. And that's the person that we actually kill. So uh, everybody's... A lot of people agree that the the person using Ferris's stuff that you kill is probably not Ferris. So yeah, there's that. That's what I was trying to say. Next up, we are headed to the catacombs to visit an old blacksmith friend. Next up on the chopping block, we have Vamos. And from Vamos, you also get a pretty cool hat. It's kind of weird in this game. If you want to get hats that give you points for style, you have to be a douchebag and kill nice people. But such is life. Uh, whatever. So let's uh, let's take him on. He doesn't respond to. Ha! <laughs> let's hit him with our rolling attack. He's not even mad. Yeah. How do you like that? All right. This is getting me nowhere. Trying to cause trouble, are you? Trying to cause trouble. Yeah, for you. He uses a pickaxe, which can actually be a formidable weapon, even though it's uh, that hammer move set that I talked about earlier. But of course, you can just swing around for the backstab. And that is Vamos. He was a good guy. From him, you get the hammer of Vamos and the royal helm, which I'm not sure why he doesn't wear that. That would look pretty good on him. It would complement his lack of skin nicely. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool, it's just like a viking style helmet, I guess. I actually use it in one of my PvP builds, just because it's like unique, you know. And everybody knows points for style are much more valuable than resistance points. <laughs> yeah. So, next off we have one more NPC and then we're going to be done. Uh, I'm not actually killing that many NPCs. It's mostly just the blacksmiths because they're they're interesting people, interesting people to kill. And that brings us to the very last NPC that I plan to kill, our dear friend Andre, the kindest MMA fighter that I've ever met. Yeah, I'm not sure which ember he's talking about. 
But uh, let me go through his stock, make sure there's uh, not anything that I'd be interested in purchasing before I dispose of him. Yep, there's uh, nothing else I'm too worried about getting from him before we have a go at each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to a weapon that's not ridiculously overpowered, so that I can actually have an interesting fight. Say, scimitar, perhaps? And because I am a, uh, I'm a man, I'm going to use power within while fighting him. Now, Andre, let's take our shirts off and fight like men. <laughs> gross. So here we go. Power within, of course, makes you uh, constantly lose health, but gives you more power. Look at that, he's not even mad. Yep, he's quite the fu the boxer. He does that little flying, flying kick there. Oh man. This is intense. Because of the artificial difficulty that I've given it. Have at you! Uh oh. <laughs> Look at that, that is, that is intense, man. And I'm just like, fishing for backstabs here. Come on. Ow! I'm not dead! I'm not dead! I'm not dead! Okay, Power Within killed me. Okay, so admittedly, using the scimitar was a stupid idea. Uh, so I'm switched to the Divine Falcon to give my- Ow! Wow! That sent me across the room, man! Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, I switched to the, the Enchanted Falcon to actually give myself decent damage output. <laughs> I think I've uh, properly shown Andre's ridiculous moveset. <laughs> okay, your hair is ridiculous. There's no way physics would allow that, sir. Okay, I'm not dying to you again. Not dying to you again. As much as I respect you, Andre. There we go. <laughs> How very appropriate. I did backstab him. But yeah, from him we get the blacksmith hammer, and we also get a lot of regret, and we get to feel bad about ourselves because we killed him and he was a really nice guy. Yay! Yeah. But that's about all the time I'm going to spend on this episode. I have no idea how long this is going to end up being. <laughs> Honestly, I've just been going around the world killing people. Um, I know I didn't end up killing that many people, actually, but the, I got the ones that are interesting, I think. Um, so, yeah. Next time, I think, is going to be the finale. So, that'll be really awesome. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it up in this next week or if it might take a little bit more time. I just want to make sure that everything is exactly right for it and make it the highest quality content. So uh, yeah, next time we'll be finishing off the game and also before we do that uh, next episode I'm going to try to show an example of uh, the highest damage output that I can achieve with sorceries. So yeah, you got, uh, you got that coming up next time. Uh, but this is the end of this episode. This has been Obtuse Lolcat. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.